dead velvet cake. Oh, oh dead velvet cake. Seriously. <laughs> I couldn't resist. All right, Alex, start us off. All right, well, Katie, we have six pans here right now. You don't need to go out to the store and buy 500 pans. You can just use <laughs> Oh, my God. That I have to leave. Oh, that scared me. It's so I was scary. It was just Crazy. running through my mind. I'm like, I don't think they're going to get Welcome me. Welcome to Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> this is three boxes of cake mix. OK. You can make it from scratch, use the same batter, or three boxes. You could do three different cake mixes, honestly. You could, you could. Um, so now we're just going to build the cake itself, right, or the top. And oh, I'm it's like a tiered event. It's a tiered thing, The first thing, thing right? you want to do is make the layers flat. So we just trim that off. And you just leave them sitting flat on your cutting board. And then the frosting. Mm. Cream cheese, yummy. You, I, really, Jeffrey? Mm. So Jeffrey's building the bigger layers, and I'm just building the smaller ones. Frost one layer. Oh. Drop the Work top. Work that lazy Susan GZ. Work and now it. you notice I've put the non-crummy top side up so when you spread your frosting oh. you don't get so many crumbs so Rubble. if you do crit trim right don't use this use that flat side so Smart. important right we're just going to go more frosting can you ever have enough no, no. never by the way well, i just want to say that jeffrey has question. been eating snacking on the frosting oh, oh, uh -oh. oh look at him He's like it's, a little... it's cream cheese frosting very yeah. good. I, 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 I truly believe that uh, red velvet cake, or in this case, dead, dead velvet, velvet, velvet cake, yeah. is just a vehicle for cream cheese frosting. Let's Agreed. be honest. It's the right? butter to lobster. Exactly. Mm. So this is kind of the, the, the dramatic piece that Katie was referencing, the dead bloody velvet part. OK? Got a nice offset spatula. You could use a knife. And then you just take a glass. <gasps> oh. 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 Oh, what is that? Well, oh, something's gonna shoot out of that cake already. At least I know already. nothing can jump out. I know, out right? Of here. <laughs> Make sure there's nothing. And you cut straight okay. down. Yeah, okay. Right, we've got a little leftover cupcake. Oh, I'll take that right in yeah. the glass. Oh. 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 By the way, you get all sorts of lovely scraps with this. A little glass cupcake. So this is our cavity. This is mm. our oh. cavity. And and if you are you hungry down there? <laughs> For you. <laughs> and then you got him back. Frost the inside. Okay. And the the frosting is like a seal. You got a little fork. A little fork for a little. <laughs> the frosting's like a seal, all right? And when, then we're gonna pop this in the freezer and make it ice cold. Ooh. So it seals ice the cold. frosting and then it makes a vessel what? for the blood. Sonny, tell us about the blood. It's the perfect raspberry blood. Very simple. Uh, two big old bags of frozen raspberries. Then you're going to get some corn syrup, a little pinch of salt, put it on the range, bubble, bubble, bubble. And then you've got some sauce. Now, if you're adverse to the little seeds, right, just come in and you're going to sieve it out. Ah. Do a little push through of a nice fine mesh sieve and see how it already kind of gives you that blood vibe. Oh. But we all know real blood is not that red. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So let's make it a little bit more realistic oh. by adding a little bit of chocolate syrup into uh. oh. that strained mm. raspberry syrup. And that's going to create a deeper, richer red color. Like it's been out of the system for a little while. Yeah. It's uh, oxidized blood. Yeah, like it's just been hanging out, you know? Crime scene blood. Exactly. This is a scary cake. So here's the frozen one. Ooh. OK. Katie, do the honors. All right, is something going to happen here? No, 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 no. Look, okay. uh, no tricks. Bottom no of the tricks. Chart, Katie. Right. All right, so just pour it in. Blood's going right up. We're filling it up. And that frozen frosting acts like a seal. I swear, there's no tricks. <laughs> like, oh. <what's> there? <laughs> the vinegar and uh, baking soda. OK. And this is just the first coat. We're going to do a second coating of the frosting to kind of make it look a little better. You could have a very, you know, according to Martha Stewart, these kind of semi Frosted cakes are very chic, but we're going to do another layer to fancy it up. OK, just get that third layer trimmed right on top. Now it's time to decorate. I am making homemade meringue bones. Yeah. Super easy. We whipped up some egg whites with some cream of tartar for stability. Granulated sugar, Jeffrey. Gives wow. you a nice crunch, just like a good old fashioned bone. And of course, a pinch of salt. Whipped it up. Put it in a piping bag. I got my oven at 200 degrees. And then we make the piping. We got a nice little kind of smallish tip here. And you want to start with almost like a little heart shape. And then 
go down nice and slow. You get the hang of it. And then another kind of upside down part right there. <laughs> and look Jeff. at that. That's a bone. You repeat it. Once you're done piping, again, in the oven, as low as it goes. Okay, you guys got some right there. You got these crispy little bones. And then, Sonny, can yeah. you help me out here? Yeah, yeah look at yeah. that. All you have to do is use the power of the frosting on Adhesion. here. We'll Adhesion. Adhesion. Stick. And I oh, like that. doing it kind of in various. And then where this can looks I put great. that? Ooh, see, where look can at this that guy one. hang out? I love Maybe how the they're different kind of sizes, well, uh, too. Yeah, you know, it yeah. gives a lot of different dimension to the cake. And you'll notice that we did put that second coat of frosting to really smooth out, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and yeah. have enough and that you don't, you, you really can't see what's going on yeah. inside. You have no red velvet vibes at all, it's or dead make, velvet. It's gonna make, hopefully, this the big payoff of this bloody slice that, Jeffrey, you had the honor of doing the honors. that much more dramatic that it's, <clears throat> yeah. you ready for this? Oh my oh, God. Man, we're going at oh. this. I'm gonna go cake style right there. Yeah. 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 We've done that since the mid 2000s. 2001. Oh no. Oh. 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 I'm ready to catch it, GZ. Don't mess up your soup, man. Oh. 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 Whoa, whoa, GZ. Whoa. That is that's <laughs> wow. Look who showed up to Halloween with a vendetta. It's He's time to eat. Yes. <laughs> I mean, brilliant. that is very effective, Sonny. I'm glad you strained it too, because yeah. it does have that mm. spillage, you know? You guys, it's delicious too. <laughs>